Hey everyone, it's Exo Man again, and uh, I apologize to my regular audience who's not going to probably know what I'm talking about. But again, I want to talk about kratom, a uh, a leaf from a tree that I became involved with uh, over the past year, and uh, I wanted to go a little a little more into the subject because I released a video which got a lot of attention and. Uh, Sparked a lot of controversy. You got hundreds and 500 uh, comments and, and, and growing. So, um, what happened was, to, to make a long story short, is I was taking this herb. It is an herb, and uh, it's a leaf from a tree, which is an herb, as a uh, relaxing, uh, pain killing or it's, it's completely it was complete it is completely legal right now and it has been for many years um, anyway uh, the, the, the word is when you do the research you'll have a lot of people say that it's completely non-addictive etc etc uh, I didn't dig deep enough and I became addicted to the to this uh, herb and the active ingredients, or the, I'm sorry, the active agents in it to, that uh, help with pain or actually attach themselves to the same receptors as uh, medicinal drugs that the, the, the um, drug cartels purvey to people all over the world. So to me, my argument was that this is an addictive substance because I became addicted to it. What What is irrelevant here? Let's talk about what's relevant and what's not relevant. What is, what is irrelevant is um, my opinion and your opinion. What is relevant is experience. And uh, so the video was about my withdrawal, the symptoms of my withdrawal. And here's where it gets interesting. And it kind of, I don't want to say it angers me because it, I don't, I don't want to be like that. This is not about anger. It's about, this is just about facts. The fact is I became addicted. And the fact is I went through a very severe withdrawal. I'm still going through it. Um, another fact is some people don't go with through, through withdrawal. And some people don't become very addicted to this. So what I'm getting at is there is a range of experiences. And when you become one of those people who discounts other people's experience and you and you get on here, as has, has happened so many times, hundreds of times, like watch, if you read the comments, take the time to peruse the comments on the last video. Hundreds of, of people who are I don't know, maybe addicted to Kratom, uh, maybe just use it without any addictive problems, are angry at me for sharing my experience. And that is asinine, that is moronic. Uh, you, you can't just tell me I haven't had my experience when I actually have had lived through this. What happened was I uh, took the drug on and off, or the leaf on and off for a year. Um, I never had a liquid form of it, the stronger versions of it or anything like that. I, I used it for pain and again, I thought it was very harmless. Well, my experience was profound. My body, my body, my physiology has a different experience than your body and your physiology, okay? My reaction to it was not psychological or imagined. I have a, I have a pretty, I'm pretty sound of mind, my friends. Um, in fact, I've, I've raised my children, and I have, I have, in, in the years of raising my children who are now adults, one of my great lessons that recurred throughout their childhood was do not indulge your fears, and uh, do not create drama, and just trying to, to teach them to be sound of mind. So I have, I have a propensity for this have a love for logical thought and, and, and soundness of mind. And so <clears throat> it would not be 
in my wheelhouse to create things like this and to make up stories to entertain myself or you. I'm telling you my experience with this substance, Kratom. I became addicted. I don't care if you want to say addictive personality. That, do that doesn't make sense to me to begin with because to say someone has a, an addictive personality means that the, their personality chose to behave as if they were addicted rather than their body being chemically dependent on a substance. So what happened to me was my body became chemically dependent and rewired. Uh, <coughs> In, by this substance what and I, I had one pseudo intellectual come on the comments and try to explain to me that uh, that it was all my perhaps all my fault and perhaps that I'm an addic addictive personality and I used too much of it and on and on and on about uh, and how I I'm hating I'm choosing to hate the plant and rather than be responsible for my own actions. Come on, people, dig deeper than that. Have a little more intelligence than that. Um, d d observe who you're dealing with, maybe. And what I'm, and, and listen to my actual words and don't just project words. You have to listen to the person speaking. You can't do it for them. What I'm saying is, uh, my experience was indeed profound. Um, you know, so some people can be bitten by a, a venomous snake, uh, uh, you know, with a with a hemotoxin delivered to their body and shrug it off. Other people might lose an appendage. We react differently to to various chemicals. It's just the way bodies are designed. Um, you know, black people and white people are prone to different diseases. We have there there are just slight augmentations and differences in in our bodies. Go figure. Um, that's the way people are. We have various uh, different bodies with, with dif different makeup. And so, yes, my withdrawal experience was and has been agonizing and, and protracted. It's been, oh uh, God, getting close to a month and I've uh, on and off started to have some nights of sleep. Uh, originally, I was have I was awake all night, every night, with restless leg. You know, people say, "Oh, poor baby, you had a little restless leg." Try heroin addiction and, and recovering from that. Well, I've read a lot of heroin addicts who said that uh, kratom withdrawal was worse for them than heroin. So, go wine to them. Again, everybody's different. Uh, you know. Every, People want to tell me what my experience should be, and it should be that of, of uh, not having my third cup of coffee or getting off a of coffee. Nonsense. <laughs> I know what I've experienced. Um, and, and, and the DEA thing. I've had a lot of people, let me get my face in the light of the day. I've had a lot of people say, that guy's DEA plant. Well, you're a moron. <laughs> I don't know how else to answer that. Um, I don't care for the DEA's band. I think it's I think it's obnoxious and ridiculous and, and anti-American and I, wherever you want to go, I'm, I, I pretty much agree with you. If you disagree with the DEA and their ban on this plant, it's once again an overreach of our government and a partnering. As far as I'm concerned, yes, I would believe that a partnering with partnering with the the uh, drug cartel that is rampant in our in our country in our medical industry. So, what are you arguing about? Who are you attacking? The problem is you don't listen. You can't read and you don't listen. You're 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 upset because you don't have your kratom, and you're pissed off. I can't help you. you a lot of you who have been so vulgar and so intense in your criticism are going to have to go through some hell. Some of you are going to get lucky. But uh, this, my friends, is to become a Schedule 1 drug within within days now. So it will go from being an ostensibly harmless little herb to becoming a drug that you can get a, a felony charge for buying and selling, as far as I know. As for detoxing, there are a lot of you who 
have come to this video innocently and uh, like I say some of you will and some of you won't go through hell with your detox if you're going through a really hard time I know how you feel I've been there and it, and, and it can be bad it can be really 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 bad um, like I say in the last video I had breath I'm walking now so I'm breathless I had a lot of have had a lot of breathlessness um, I had um, the restless leg I had the depression was severe I've never experienced depression but I know it now all too well and it is it is crippling I understand that that uh, adjective that they use before depression crippling depression so true uh, but hang in there because for some of you those symptoms will be short-lived depending on how long and how much you've had of this substance uh, I feel for you my friends and you know maybe I, I can walk the walk with you to this degree in explaining that, that you'll get through it and uh, it, it, it will seem like you will not get through it but you will the same with same with a lot of these addictions <laughs> don't stop uh, trying you know don't give up don't go back to that substance it just it feels so surreal to me that I'm even having this this, this discussion you know and I don't I don't want to pretend to be innocent but I very much am in a sense except that uh, as has been pointed out I didn't do enough due diligence my wife and I looked it up as when we began taking it we and we didn't because it was just presented as a harmless herb and commercially packaged we didn't think we needed to do that in depth of a of a discovery process so we learned that it was uh, as harmless as caffeine well I've been drinking caffeine all my life I'm, I'm told that this is in the coffee family so uh, we didn't uh, we saw no great cause for concern anyway here we are uh, I hope that clarifies some of my stance no I, I have nothing to do with the DEA in fact I loathe and despise these decisions by these people and uh, I, I don't think that I don't think that that's gonna last forever I hope we live in a world one, one day where we wake up and we take the power away from people who take our freedoms away to such a degree that we illegalize plants that grow from the earth that's a shame so I, I'm sorry if I was not clear in my first video I think you know I, I know I said I am I am sorry about the the DEA ban but I then, I then said but I'm not sorry that a lot of new people won't be getting on this stuff because of it didn't mean that I agree agree with the DEA ban so there's a clarification for you for what it's worth oh and I also had one knucklehead who wanted to kill me and he said so in his video and then he quickly retracted and then minutes later in his 20 minute video he went on to say he wanted to see me stomped to death etc because why because he is befuddled by probably drugs he sounded like he was stoned in his video and uh, he's smoking a cigarette and talking about addiction and I'm, I'm sorry for him he talked about all his pain <clears throat> my friend I've known a lot of pain in my life and I could catalog it for you but it would take a couple of hours uh, but suffice it to say uh, I, I know what it is and I'm sorry for him and his pain but he was a little bit too confused and delirious to uh, understand what I was saying in my video he didn't listen to the whole thing obviously or read my words so um, pay attention people and uh, my advice would be now to to uh, detox and it's it's a loss you're gonna have to take because you're gonna have to fight the government and you're gonna lose uh, do your protests have your awareness rallies and the websites I think that's all healthy and positive but uh, I, I wouldn't trade in the substance because that would be a mistake it could cost you a lot of your a lot more of your freedom than you've already been deprived of okay I, I don't want to go on anymore thank you all for taking the time and Godspeed, my friends.